So, from the last um, graphene experiments, I got a lot of comments back that they were quite complicated, and I have to say I agree. There was a lot of um, steps to the process, and it needed uh, quite a lot of looking after, and quite a lot of temperature control. Um, so I spent quite a bit of the time trying to come up with uh, an easier method. And I've tried a few things, and the problem is, of course, it's all very time-consuming. I tried electrolysis, and I don't think it was particularly successful. And I've tried various other combinations of a modified Hummer's method. Now, a lot of the problem with the literature is that when it talks about this stuff, and they could proclaim success, and they talk about high yield, you're looking at 0.01% graphene oxide after the thing, and that doesn't seem like particularly high yield to me, but in research terms, apparently it is. Um, now, I came up with this method eventually, after a lot of searching and quite a bit of work, and it struck me as um, pretty simple. Uh, you do have to stir the thing for three days, but you only have to spend about five minutes preparing it, and appar apparently the yield is, in a, is about 100%. So what I've got in this jar is 320 millilitres of um, concentrated sulfuric acid, that's 98% sulfuric acid, and 80 millilitres of um, phosphoric acid, at 75%. And what you do with this is um, just chuck in 3.2 grams of graphene. The graphite to sulfuric acid ratio is 100 to 1 if you want to vary it. And you can literally just pour the graphite in. And give it a swirl around. Now this method apparently is much, much, much safer, so there's no real danger of explosion like there was with the other one, which is one of the reasons you had to keep the temperature um, so low to maintain the reaction at uh, an acceptable rate so you didn't have the chance of explosion. Now what you do to this is add 18 grams of potassium permanganate. Now unfortunately you can't just chuck in 18 grams of potassium permanganate, you add it slowly. So, but there's slowly and slowly. In this case you add it over about 5 or 10 minutes. Now what will happen to this um, graphite solution is it will go a kind of deep purple. Oh sorry, green. So I'm going to add it slowly and show you after that. So instead of going a bright purple that you would expect a potassium permanganate solution to go, this actually goes a kind of emerald green. You want to do this in a well-ventilated area, or preferably outside. You can see it's giving off some gas. God knows what that gas is, but it smells a bit like ozone, which is one of the reasons you should do this outside, or in a well-ventilated area. I'm in a well-ventilated room, by the way. Okay, so that's it. And as you can see, it's a green colour. Now, it is fuming, and the fumes are purple, so they're probably potassium permanganate and you need to put a lid on it. Now because it's fuming you can't put an airtight lid on it or you'll build up too much pressure. So just a bit of paper on there held on loosely will stop the fumes ha hitting absolutely everything and stop the thing splashing everywhere as you stir it. But bear in mind it's giving off purple fumes um, because wherever you put it, if you don't put it somewhere sensible, you're going to dye everything purple. So all you need to do now is set this to one side somewhere and put it on your stirrer drop your bar in and leave it stirring for three days. Now I know that sounds like a long time, but that is it for the preparation work. All we have to do now is stir it for three days and wait. So the reaction's had a couple of hours running and this is what's happened to it. It's gone this kind of brown colour. Now this is the colour that I was getting at the end of the other reactions uh, and this is after two hours at room temperature. So I decided to give this one a go by not stirring it. All I'm going to do with this is leave it lying around for three days so the reaction can go to completion. You can leave it for four days, but it's probably going to over-oxidize. 
and what this brown is telling you is that you're getting a lot of graphene oxide in here and the reason it's gone gelatinous is because the um, graphite is exfoliating so it's quite an interesting thing and to simplify it even further I'm going to try this one even now without stirring it and we'll see what happens so I've left this lying around for four days and that's what it looks like now it's supposed to be a brown color and if you look at this in the right light it is a brown color I personally think it's more of a purple myself but it's supposed to be brown and we're about to undo it now this cap's been sitting on there for four days and you can see just by pressing cap there's been a build up of pressure in there and you have to remember that you're working with some pretty concentrated acids here and uh, remember it's um, highly concentrated sulfuric acid and highly concentrated phosphoric acid uh, that's been sitting around in there and it's been oxidizing so there's a bit of pressure in there so if you take that lid off it's going to spray so you need to take a reasonable amount of precaution notice the you have heavy duty yellow gloves and um, some eye protection okay so don't be silly with it uh, so as you unscrew it it will spray put a cloth over it so that it sprays into the cloth the cloth has to be something you're uh, quite happy to throw away and I don't know if you heard that but that spread so we take the top off and there we go now interestingly enough you can see the actual graphite at the edges where there hasn't been any reaction and you can see this really strong purpley color now you're supposed to kill that reaction by adding um, hydrogen peroxide now I want to test this a little bit because I want to see what happens as we leave it running longer I remember I'm trying this without stirring it so I'm going to pour off a little bit if it'll pour because it's quite gelatinous out it comes just pour off a little bit and then I'm going to close it back up again and just leave it for another couple of days and try the same thing in another couple of days and we'll see what happens so once I've closed that up again clean the lid because you don't want to go inadvertently touching it set it to one side and here is a small amount of my reactant now it says add um, hydrogen peroxide it doesn't really say how much so I'm just going to chuck in a little bit and there that bad boy's fizzing away pour a little bit more the whole thing should take about 100 milliliters to do so I've only added about 10 or 15 milliliters I suppose not very much now I actually have great hopes for this because this has gone a really bright yellow colour see that and it's supposed to be yellow the yellow is an indication of how much you've got in there and how pure it is it's getting quite a bit of heat out of there as well and as you can see the brown is going to this bright yellow and that's what it's supposed to do so that's looking really good I'm quite pleased with that it's frothing up quite a lot But the next thing you need to do is add some hot water. Have a look at that. I don't think I've ever got it that bright yellow before. That is really, really good. I'm really pleased about that. How about that? okay so what you need to do now is um, let it precipitate out you take off that precipitate and wash it with one molar hydrochloric acid and then some water until you get the pH about 4 or 5 somewhere around about there and uh, right now it's about pH 1 so I'm going to go off and do that and um, that is looking really very very good so I was going to wait to post this until I'd done this washing process and dried it and given it a test but to be honest, I think that's looking so promising and it's really quite exciting. I'm going to post it now. So it takes about two or three days, a bit longer actually, to dry it and play around with it. Uh, well, it does with the equipment I've got. 
you're supposed to centrifuge it and though I've got the centrifuge it takes absolutely ages to centrifuge so I thought I'd post it now let you have a look see what was going on I'll play around with it over the weekend and hopefully we'll have an update by Monday anyway thanks for watching